Hello to everyone who wants to see Halo Infinite fixed. Welcome to my new video series where I'm going to be giving 343 direct feedback in short, concise videos with a very specific message and something that I want changed. In today's episode, episode 1, I'm going to be talking about player collision and how it directly affects gameplay and is nonsensical and stupid. And if 343 doesn't want Halo Infinite to suck badly, they need to implement player collision. Does that sound harsh? It is not. All right. So basically, I was playing some FFA today, trying to complete the challenge-based unlock system for anything. And I had an energy sword. I was behind a corner, and someone came around the corner. I tried to slice them with the energy sword. I phased into their body and sliced the wall behind them. And then they walked behind me and back smacked me. This is an anomaly that you will never see in any other Halo game because they're designed properly with basic physics like player collision. When you don't have player collision, it doesn't make sense. So when the player tries to interact with the world in a way that doesn't have basic physics, it does not work. And it's very frustrating. This has happened to me countless times with the energy sword, with just meleeing. I've seen this happen to other people. People meleeing me, they're just meleeing the air because they may slightly phase inside me and hit nothing. So 343, three. if you don't want Halo Infinite to suck, add player collision. I'm Guns is Weary. Like and subscribe if you want to see this game fixed realistically. Have a good one.